Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be a quick clay video, which I guess is kind of like a speed paint or a speed draw video, except that I'm making something out of polymer clay. Okay, so in this quick clay video I'm going to be making a fridge magnet, which features my most favourite Doctor Who monster, the Silence. I think the Silence are just really, really creepy. I love the idea that you forget when you've seen them, because it just makes them feel a bit more as if they could actually be real. Uh, there could be one standing over you right now and oh, they just they just really freak me out. Um, and for that reason I think they're one of the best Doctor Who monsters. So to make my silence magnet I'm going to be using a softer brand of polymer clay. Ordinarily I prefer to use harder brands of clay because they hold their shape a little bit better but when you're sculpting and texturing a flat piece like this I just find that soft clay makes life easier by being a bit more malleable. I'm also going to be painting my baked magnet with some acrylic paints and that's just going to help give a little bit more depth to the piece um, and then after that I'm going to glaze it with some shiny glass glaze which in this case really helps to bring out those scary hollow eyes that the silence have but generally it's also quite important for sealing in and protecting any paint that you put on um, just to stop it from chipping or rubbing off or anything like that. And the thing to watch out for when you're making a flat back piece like this is its strength. It can be quite easy to snap large thin pieces of clay like the backing of this silence magnet is going to be. Um, in this case I'm not really worrying too much about that here because when I stick the magnets onto the back of the piece they'll lend quite a lot of strength to it. Um, otherwise you can strengthen the back with a layer of liquid clay or you can glue something like felt to the back or you can just make your piece a little bit thicker and more condensed. So yeah, the strength of your end product is definitely something to bear in mind while you're in your early sculpting stages, especially so you don't have the heartbreak of snapping something you've spent hours working on. Definitely don't do what I've done in the past, which is spend ages making a really detailed flat piece, baking it, and then thinking it's a good idea to test its strength by bending it, because yeah, I just, I just cleanly snapped it in two. So rather test the limits of your clay with a scrap piece rather than something you've spent ages on. Also, when making fan art or anything which is not a fictional kind of creation of your own, it's handy to have a reference picture nearby just so you can keep comparing how your piece looks uh, compared to the real thing. And I find that polymer clay is especially great for making things like fan art because it's just really easy to fix any mistakes that you make. You can just blend them out again, you can add clay over to the top of them, texture them, paint over them. Uh, so yeah, I just find it's a really forgiving medium and it really lets you get a feel for what you're trying to make. So um, I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this quick clay video in peace. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more videos similar to this. And also if you're a Doctor Who fan, let me know who you think the best monsters are.